This is the site of Fort McCord in present-day Franklin County. On April the 1st, 1756, a raiding party of Delaware and French attacked this fort that was built by the local settlers. It was a private fort and either killed or carried off into captivity 27 men, women, and children. The fort was located a few rods to the southeast of the monument, which is somewhere in that uh, wooded area there, maybe on the hillock, I'm not sure, nobody really knows today. This monument was erected in 1914, and this massacre resulted in a raid by Pennsylvania militia, actually a pursuit by Pennsylvania militia, that culminated in an attack on the Delaware town of Catani, in which the town was burned to the ground and it began the uh, withdrawal of the Delaware support for the French and Indian raids on the Pennsylvania frontier. Notice the thistle on top of the cross, which denotes the Scots-Irish lineage of John McCord and his fellow settlers here at Fort McCord, April the 1st, 1756. This is Rocky Spring Presbyterian Church. The building dates to 18, correction. The building dates to 1794. The congregation was formed here in 1734, which is the same year that nearby Chambersburg was settled first. The entire congregation, according to the plaque on the other side of the building, was led to the Revolutionary War by its minister. The building has no chimney. Apparently the slots that you see in the foundation around were musket loopholes in case the problems that this area of the Cumberland Valley had during the 1750s and 60s with French and Indians should ever reoccur, is the tradition anyway. There's the cemetery. a marker to the Culbertson, Culbertson family. They're the brothers, see, apparently all born between 1729 and 1734. They were present at Sidling Hill in the skirmish between French and Indians who had recently raided Fort McCord and carried off into captivity the survivors of the massacre. And then June 1776 through Calpens, 1781. One of them or all of them were present. One of the battle in Cam uh, Camden, Kings Mountain, and Calpens are in South Carolina and North Carolina. And that was the campaign that led to Yorktown against Cornwallis. Culbertson at Valley Forge, Germantown, Brandywine, Fort Washington during the Long Island campaign, the disaster of 1776, the Culbersons were there. And this is the settlement that they came from, Rocky Spring.
This is the gravestone of Elizabeth and James Breckenridge. James Breckenridge, who from the flag you can see was a Revolutionary War veteran here in the Rocky Ridge Churchyard Cemetery. Two more Revolutionary War veterans. This is a more recent flag stand. Very difficult to read the stones. It's unfortunate this stone has been broken off somehow and the top has been taken away as well. So you can't see the top and it's unidentified. And only the church register might have, but it would appear that this is a Culberson. If the presence of William Culberson next door here and the Culberson family along here is any indication. Here's the grave of Revolutionary War soldier and patriot John Wilson. And he and his wife were both interred together in that sarcophagus. <laughs>